all right what's going on everybody and welcome to another episode and in today's video i'm going to be checking out a tech organizer or a cable organizer from backsmart so before we get into checking out this tech organizer i reviewed one about a year and a half ago um, on my channel and this one is made by Procase. So the Bassmar is gonna be slightly different from the Procase, just from a design perspective. So I'm looking forward to checking this out because after using this one for quite a bit some time, but for the most part, I do think this one is a pretty good, very affordable tech organizer. So if you're interested in checking this one out, I will have the original video link in the description. Now keep in mind, that video was one of my earliest videos that I did but I think the information is still good in there for you. So now let's go ahead and check out this tech organizer from Bagsmart. As usual, let's go ahead and check out the outside of the bag and we'll work our way towards the inside. So on the outside, we get a little plastic or a piece of cardboard wrapping in the bag around, it says cable organizer right here. And then it has, you know, all the various things that you would do when traveling with this um, tech bag or electronic bag organizer, whatever you prefer to call it. Now, towards the back of this, you get more information, but to go over a few features really quick, it is water repellent, quick and easy to access, made for travelers, and it has multiple compartments. So the storage space here has seven elastic mesh pockets for devices four SD card pouches, five elastic bands to store thin cables. Large cables can be stored in the accessories compartment in the bag and one small compartment for small items. You get dimensions and the item number towards the bottom here and the materials made out of, which is polyester. So here we have the bag and the only color is currently offered is in black. Simple branding here, not too much. So one of the things to note here is I always look at the stitching on the bags that I use. And normally that gives me a good idea of the quality that it's made out of and how much quality control went into manufacturing this bag. So currently this is available on Amazon for $17. Now I purchased it at $19. Let's go ahead and talk about the outside. And far as I can tell, the stitching is decent. Of course the bottom here, the stitching is meh. I mean, it's okay, it's not, very detailed in how it was stitched, but with the price, you kind of expect those little things like that. From the material that is made of a polyester, I think it is pretty good. It feels pretty nice, and I can definitely tell that if you was to spill something on it, it should be easy to wipe off. So the back is pretty much similar, but it just don't have anything on the back. This is a pretty simple design bag. Um, the zippers right here, you get two per compartment. So no zipper attachments on here, but as you see here, they are pretty long and easy to grab. But at the same time, I know some people may feel like zippers can be a little bit annoying depending on how many it is and how jingly they are. So if you work in an office or you um, in a quieter setting or an environment, this will make some noise when you're taking it out your bag. Not a big deal for me, but it's something to note for others. Here you get your carry handle right here and you can just carry this in your hand. The strap used right here is pretty nice. Um, I feel like it's very smooth and over time it shouldn't cause any irritation in your hand if you're carrying it while you're out and about. So I do like for handles like this or any strap to feel very comfortable. So let's go ahead and move to the inside of the bag and check out the compartments. All right, so the first thing we have here is the gray interior. Now, the choice of color for the inside is gonna be generic. Gray is a go-to color. Towards the bottom, you get your cable elastic bands, so you can slide in each cable um, depending on the size of that cable. So I do like how you have the smaller ones on the left, and then you go to your medium to large elastic bands on the right so that can help you with cable management and not having to worry about stuff in a large cable inside a smaller elastic band and vice versa so i can appreciate that as far as the stitching on the inside i mean is well hidden so one thing i do want to mention here i was also looking for a bag that i can lay flat open 
and not have to kind of sit it up and go through it. Now, I will say I have been checking out a tech pouch um, that has that similar design. So far, I'm still, you know, trying to see what I can get out of this particular tech organizer. So I do like this. Um, that way you can see exactly what you're trying to grab and what you're looking for in this bag in general. We have a zipper pouch right here, and then you get three compartments on the inside of the zipper pouch. You can drop little smaller items in here, and that way they don't get lost and get all over the place in your bag. It kind of makes it frustrating for when you're searching for a small item inside your organizer. So this is gonna be your front compartment, and that's pretty much gonna be it. I will say I can't appreciate how simple it is, also allowing you to maybe carry a little bit more because you can organize smaller items from larger items. That's gonna wrap up the front compartment. Let's move to the back compartment. So towards the back here, we have two large compartments and I like how wide it opens. I'm gonna be honest with you, I didn't think it was gonna open this wide. You can really dig in there and get what you need. Also see what you're trying to get outside the bag. Inside we get a Velcro strap or a Velcro wrap. Some cables now come with these Velcro wraps. So I like that one is included, especially if you're carrying your laptop with you. So if you don't have that, which usually you probably keep that on there, but if you don't, it's here if you need it. We also have some silica gel as usual, put that to the side. Okay, so let's talk about the front and then we're gonna work our way towards the back of these two compartments. We have a large spacious pocket right here. So you get two of these, one on the left, one on the right. And then you have this large compartment right here where you can just slide something in. Now, I'm gonna see if I can fit one of my large devices right here and see how well it fits. Um, but for the most part, it looks pretty spacious to me. In the middle, you get a zipper pouch. You get four additional elastic bands. Now, these can be used for SD cards. As I was reading the information on the back of the cardboard piece, you can quickly access your SD cards if needed, and they're in a nice, safe, protected space if you decide to put them here. In the bottom of this pouch, you can drop a ton of different things. So I definitely will do a demonstration for you guys and show you how I would organize it. So moving towards the back here. So you get one large compartment on this left side right here, and then you get a smaller one on the right. I can see how you can carry quite a bit. You don't feel like you have to sacrifice what you need to carry because the organizer or the pouch is just not big enough for your larger accessories. So that's pretty much it. Now I'm gonna go ahead and put some items in this bag. Now I probably add a little bit more than normal so I can show you how much you can carry. So that way it will give you a better idea as to what this electronic organizer can store. All right, you guys, so I am back and I have this organizer packed with a variety of different things. And also I try to not keep it looking too bulky. I try to keep it as well packed as I would travel. If you're just going out and you just want something small and you want to carry around with you, I think this will be an option for you to check out. One thing I wanted to mention before we get started is that the zippers that are on this bag, you get two per compartment. So for me, I like to have one set of zippers on one side and one set on the other. So that way I'll you know, make sure I'm going into the right compartment. I know that's not a big deal at all, but that may be a tip for you. When using this handle, it may help to keep the back compartment zippers on the right side of the bag. That way you don't have to worry about accidentally opening up that compartment and possibly dropping a few things outside that bag. That may not happen, but who knows? So that's just something um, I noticed and that may can help you along the way. But let's go ahead and get started with the front compartment. All right, so here we have the front. Now I tried to find as many small items as I could and I was able to uh, fit a few cables, as you can see right here. Now I have lightning, USB-C for these two, and then I also have my watch charger. So I was able to put these in here and of course you can slide something in if you have another cable to carry. But for the most part, this is more than enough cables for me. I actually can only carry one of each. Um, of course, with 
the watch cable, that would be the only one for it. Now, if you wanted to carry a micro USB, if you needed that cable, of course you could include that in one of these slots. I tried to make sure that cable made sense according to that slot. So I have a smaller cable. This one is like a foot long. Um, this one is about six feet, I wanna say. This one slid in perfectly here in the medium size. And then I have my watch charger in the largest compartment. Right here at the top, we have the zipper pouch, which are three compartments. So I don't have anything in this one, but for the first two, first slot right here, I have a set of earbuds. Now, this is something that just was small enough to fit in this pouch right here. So I was able to slide these in with no problem. Now, depending on the size of that item, you may be able to get more than one thing in that, but just keep in mind that can add a little bit of bulk to the bag and make it harder for you to zip up that compartment. Moving to the second pouch, I have a micro SD card case and a SD card case. Now I just slid these in here to show you that you can fit something fairly small like these two cases in here with no issues. They're flat, they're easy, they won't take up any space and add any bulk. So I just slid them right there. That pretty much is gonna wrap up the front compartment. Now we're gonna move to the back. This is the good part here. And this is probably gonna be the most important part of the bag. Um, this is gonna be the larger compartment as we've seen before. Here I have the electronic device cleaner. Now this is a two in one. I'm pretty sure you've seen this one before on other reviews, but basically you just have this two in one. You got a soft brush at the top and then you have the retractable brush on this side here. So I felt like this one be great to carry around because it is a two in one. I don't have to worry about carrying microfiber cloths, even though I probably have one but that would be more so for my camera. This one will be a lot easier to grab and clean that device. On the side of that one, I have some extra earbuds. Now these are just some Razer earbuds that I have and I use quite a bit. And these are slim and nice and they have a little wrist lanyard on here. So they fit very nicely on the side of this accessory and it just fits well in that pouch. In the right pouch, I have my game case for my Nintendo Switch. And this fits very nicely in here. So nice, so compact in this pouch. And I really feel like it makes the case even more beneficial to have. I will say this does help with making sure that my games stay protected because not only are they in this case, but they're inside this bag and they won't have to be fumbled around my bag or being thrown around. I can drop this case in here without any issues. So next here, I have a power bank. Now, don't judge me. This one is a little dirty. That's because I've used it quite a bit. This one is the Samsung wireless power bank. So it fast charges wirelessly for my phone or any wirelessly charging device. And it's 10,000 milliamp hours. So I have a decent amount of capacity for this battery to charge up pretty much anything that I need to charge, um, including my iPad. So yeah, I would carry this around simply because it's slim and it fits well right here on the side. And yeah, that's pretty much it. Next, I just threw in a USB-C cable. And if I can't fit one of my cables that I need right here, or I just need an extra cable just for a friend, then I'll have one to the side right here. And it's just nice to have an additional cable if I don't have enough already. Before we get to the back, here in the pouch, of course you gotta keep a pen on you if you use one, of course, while you're out, as well as my Apple Pencil. So next here, I have an SD card. These slots right here fit SD cards perfectly. You can definitely slide four right here for your camera or for any other device that you use. Here, of course, I have my Nintendo Switch. As you can see, the screen is pretty dirty, so I will use this to clean that screen, but I was really happy to see that this fits so nicely in there. So that way, if I couldn't find any place to put my Nintendo Switch, this bag would definitely get the job done for it. If you have a thin case, um, something that's not too bulky, and that way you don't have to worry about taking any damages to your Nintendo Switch while it's inside the bag. So to the back of that, I have the Nintendo Switch charger. It fits very well in this larger compartment. So I like how I can put the Nintendo Switch charger inside this bag as well. So as we move to the last thing here in this pouch, as I mentioned, 
you may have some extra earbuds to carry around with you. I have the AirPods Pro and with this case on, it wasn't a big deal for me to slide it in and get it out. Now, I will say having this little clip on here, this micro lock helps retrieve it a little bit easier. If you don't have a carabiner or a micro lock attached to it, then you still should be able to get your earbuds without any issues or whatever you have in there. And just for the demonstration of this bag, I really feel like this bag does fit well and could be a good candidate for a tech kit and have a nice kit already ready to go. But overall, it just seems like a really good bag for its intended use. All right, you guys, so that pretty much wraps up the video. Now, I hope this video was very helpful to you. And if you're checking out a tech organizer and if you were interested in this particular one, Hopefully it gives you a good idea of what all you can carry and what fits your needs and what fits your style and what you carry. Now for me again, most of these things would come with me on a daily basis. When things are back to normal, I can see just about all of these things fitting in my rotation for when I'm traveling. So I can make sure I have more than what I need. So with that being said, if you guys don't already know the drill, hopefully you hit that subscribe button down below. And while you're down there, go ahead and give the video a thumbs up. I really appreciate that. And thank you to all the support that I have received thus far. If you know someone that's looking for an affordable tech organizer, definitely share the video with them and hopefully it helps them as well. Hopefully you guys stay tuned for more videos and I'll catch you in the next one. Peace.